Hello folks, in this tech note I'll be reviewing the Bosch BME 680 temperature, humidity, pressure and air quality sensor. There's a picture of the board. There it is in real life. Uh, got it from closed cube and you can clearly see the sensor in the center there. This one's currently configured for address hexadecimal 77 or if the resistor was on the left was soldered to the bottom it would be at 76. What is its features? High linearity accuracy for all those parameters. Um, same size as their SHT35 board. Variable addressing 77 or 76. 77 is preferred. 3.3 um, to 5 volt supply with level converters which is extremely useful and onboard regulator a very low power output a low power dropout there's an overview of the board itself with the componentry with the uh, Bosch sen sensor in the center there and there's the solder bridge with the resistor uh, for 77 or 76 Connectors for power, clock, data and ground, a 1.8 volt out. Uh, it's got there's the uh, level converter. And on the back of the device is the um, load dropout regulator, the two pull-up resistors. And it's got two mounting holes at the top, which makes it a very versatile board. That's where you can get them from most of the Amazon sites, uh, eBay or Tindy. These are typical test setups, ESP32, I2C bus to the device and those are the pins I used on the light version or the ESP8266 or the Arduino. Um, fairly straightforward to connect. These are typically application ideas obviously indoor air quality measurement weather stations altitude measurements lift controls there's the unit running you can see it's producing an output of temperature pressure humidity and gas resistance and then i'm converting that into an air quality index currently derived from humidity and gas content in the atmosphere so very low humidity is not good, very high humidity is not good, 40% is optimal, that's 0.25 or 25%. Similarly for gas, very little gas in the atmosphere other than what we breathe is good and, and a lot of gas is bad. So now I'm going to introduce a substance, It's in the UK we call it white spirit, it's a sort of hazardous substance just showing the outside of the bottle there and in a moment I'm going to put the sensor at the top of that bottle so currently the air quality is about 75 percent now as the sensor goes on top of the bottle and it's quite a pungent um, liquid resistance is 161 213 ohms there 155 k ohms 151k ohms so gas is the line I'm reading 149,147 notice that the text has now changed to it's unhealthy for sensitive groups like those who suffer from um, asthma for example it's now down to 138,774 ohms continues to fall now it's gone to it's an unhealthy atmosphere 129,000 128 now I'll put the sensor inside the bottle 126 125 very unhealthy atmosphere obviously inside that bottle 122,000 <clears throat> air quality is now very unhealthy it's a bit like me and um, and now is we can take the sensor out and watch the 
unit very very quickly recover already back to 153,000 154 157,000 ohms 157k 159k and uh, air quality is returning to moderate it's a relative index it doesn't really mean anything um, so there we are in summary then it's a, a very accurate low power device with a wide operating range minus 40 Celsius to plus 85 Celsius variable addressing 77 or 76 77 is preferred for most libraries most libraries are set up for hexadecimal 77 easy to use I think with the default settings nothing really to change measures all those parameters in one unit you've just seen it measuring volatile organic organic compounds and um, paint stripper is what I was using there and um, obviously cleaning supplies furnishing furnishings plastics office equipments um, glues adhesives and alcohol um, I hope you found that useful enjoy and the code is available on github